Howdy folks, this is your maintenance and repair video for your DC-17 vacuum cleaner, the Dyson Animal. And if you have animals, you're going to have problems, uh, regardless of what they say. These things can clog up with a lot of hair, and uh, they need a little bit of attention to keep them working. Now, it's like a car. You need a good airflow from the carburetor all the way to the tailpipe. Now, I'm starting at the tailpipe end, which is this filter here, which some people forget that their vacuum cleaner has. You should uh, clean this every few months, vacuum it out, whatever. It's uh, reusable. So this is the last place your air goes before it goes out into your room. I'm working backwards here through the, the, uh, <laughs> the airflow path. Now, if you've really got things clogged up, you know, you might see some hair in these. So check these various parts. Uh, obviously, you know, here's another place. You shouldn't see anything here. If you do, you're seriously clogged up. Uh, this is an annoying thing that you'll find with your animal's long hair, that you'll get this stuff clogged up in those little tiny holes up there. And uh, no matter how much you shake and, and shimmy this thing, it's, it's not going to come out. So you're going to have to clean it. Start by opening the bottom. The bottom has to be open before you push this button. Otherwise, the clear plastic part won't release. Now mine's a little funky, and uh, no, I'm not getting too friendly with it, but it will come off through the magic of video here. All right, so now you've got it off, you can use uh, a small brush or whatever you find is handy to get all those little bits of uh, lint type material out. Also make sure this is an awful of crap over here. Now this rubber seal around the bottom, this can get full of a kind of a packed in dirt. So uh, use, a, use a sponge or a brush and get that all cleared out. Also along the bottom here, make sure that's all, you know, not excessively full of dirt or gunk, including that bottom seal. Just like carburetor on a car, if you've got a seal, it works fine. If you've got a leak, you got a mess. And then uh, here's that rubber seal again. You shouldn't see any excessive amount of... Uh, of dirt or hair or anything inside there. And then uh, here's the next path it goes to and then heading on down goes through that little hose into the cavity where the beater bar is. Now the beater bar uh, you might get all wound up with uh, hairs and threads and uh, deconstructing your carpet and who knows what. So the best way is to take this uh, cover off and use a knife to cut it away. Now that hole there that I just pointed to should be nice and open. The beater bar is driven by a belt and the motor is in that area I just pointed to behind the clear plastic. It's a toothed belt. Now in this case my vacuum cleaner is not working. The belt was completely frozen up and when I got it to move it made a horrible horrible rattling sound like as it was going to fall apart. So basically, it might get a little stuck, be a little stuck, but basically the belt and that plastic cover that you took off is what holds the beater bar in place. So we're working the beater bar out here. Now we've got it loose. We're basically working the belt off. And it's basically just kind of rolling and pushing it till it comes off. It's a little bit in the pain of the butt. And by the way, everything I'm doing here should not vo void your warranty. This is what Dyson customer support actually instructed me to do over the phone. All right, so I've got the beater bar out. And you see you get these big chunks of uh, lint and dirt that can collect on the ends. Now you can get your finger or a pencil or something in there and get the belt off of the gear. Now you can see here's the heart of my problem. That gear should not look like a big chunk of felt. Mine is completely jimmy jammed up full of dog hair. So, uh, and as I, you can see, this is a toothed belt. So the teeth on the inside of the belt run against the teeth on the gear that you can't see because it's covered with dog hair. Now in this case, Dyson told me I needed a new belt and they're going to send me a new belt and a beater bar under warranty, which is great. But uh, I don't feel like waiting a week. All right, now you can see I finally got all the dog and cat crap all off, and you can see the gears. This is what you want to see. 
and this probably is not terribly helpful, but I'm uh, just cleaning all the remaining bits of dust and debris out of the teeth on the belt. Teeth go to the inside, so they fit against the gear. This part's slightly tricky, but fairly easy. Get the belt in there around the gear. Now we're just reversing the process, getting the belt over the beater bar, and then working the belt back up. That's my dog, my hair monster dog, one of two that shed like mad. Anybody want to adopt some shedding dogs and cats, please send me an email in a self-addressed envelope and I will send you my pets. Okay, got the belt back where it belongs on the beater bar. Uh, this rotating little plastic end here, there's a flat side. The flat side is going towards the camera here. And ultimately when the vacuum is operating, that flat side is against the floor. I think you'll find that it doesn't really go back into the into the correct position if you don't have that flat side correctly oriented. You're kind of fighting against the tension of the belt, so this is a little tricky. And once again, the only thing holding it in basically is the tension of the belt. And it's staying in those slots, and then also the gray plastic cover that we're going to put back on. Now here you can see I didn't get it in quite right. You know, it doesn't show well with the camera here, but it was uh, it wasn't quite all the way over to the left as you're looking at it. All right, check real quick, make sure it's free. You got all the extra lint and hair and all the fun stuff that we vacuum up out of the ends. Place the cover back on. You can see these little points here are what catch on the little clear plastic tabs that I'm pointing to. So you want to make sure that the, they cat, catch in there. So you need to might need to push it in a little bit, work it around. Make sure it all feels nice and solid. Shouldn't feel all wonky and wobbly. Right. Once it's in place, then you just uh, turn each of the three fasteners clockwise, 90 degrees. A nickel or a quarter works best. Uh, don't even try to use a screwdriver. A coin actually is better. Less likely to damage these things since they are plastic. All right. Once you tilt it back and turn it on, the beater bar is engaged. And it works. And this should keep you going for for at least six months if you got a serious dog hair problem like we do in my menagerie. Thanks much. Bye.